tennis courts in dire need of help. Contractors with the skill and heart to get the job done. A community ready to give back. I'm Torre, leader of the community surface team. My job is to make sure all this happens. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, site of one of the most devastating floods in modern American history. And this is Community Surface, built by Sportmaster. May 2010, unprecedented amounts of rainfall floods the state of Tennessee. It's going to be another rainy day, a stormy day, hampering recovery efforts. 49 counties declared disaster areas by the federal government. In Nashville, the Cumberland River is 12 feet above flood stage and engulfs downtown. Flooding is expected to continue along the river today. The river is not predicted to go back below 50 feet for at least the next 24 hours. After several days, the floodwaters recede, but the destruction is rampant. 24 people are dead, and thousands of homes and businesses are destroyed. Tennis, a favorite sport of the local community, is at a standstill. The heart of the Nashville tennis community, the Centennial Tennis Center, is hit hard. The courts look like a complete war zone. There's trash, there's tree limbs, dirt, bugs, uh, barrels. I mean, any, anything, any kind of de debris, and it just came through the facility like a tidal wave. Blaine's got a really important tennis center in this community under his control, and something that happened to it that was beyond anybody's ability to fix by themselves. So he called and said, hey, I need help. I'm just at wit's end, and I can't do this without you. Blaine? Hey, man. Thanks for coming. Hey, man. I had to. What's going on here? I spent the last two days watching this disaster, if you will. The courts looked horrible, but more than that, Blaine looked heartbroken. I, he's standing there. I can almost see, like, through his shirt, like, heart ripping. Chairs overturned, got dirt on the court. How do you look dirt at, on the court? Look at it all. Look, I mean, it came through like a raging river. When people are dying, tennis seems like something small, but you kind of need something. It's an escape. You know, they count on these courts. They count on this facility. It's, this is done. Taking away the tennis courts from this community took away a vital part of their lives. Is this? All of it? There's more. There's more. I've got two other courts that are just as bad. Let's see those. When we went to the next two courts, it seemed even worse. <sighs> wow. I mean, there's stuff from all over the place here. I feel totally empty, lost. I truly don't know what tomorrow will bring. What? can we do for you? I've never had enough courts to handle all the kids that want to play here. I've got all kinds of programs on the calendar. I made a promise to the kids and the community that these courts would be ready in two days. 48 hours. Can't see you like this. Did not help you out. So your promise is now my promise. I'm gonna take care of this for you. Can you be waiting for me there tomorrow when I come in? I'll be there. All right, because we got a lot of work to do. Coming up, volunteers and contractors arrive to help, but with only 36 hours left, is it too little too late? When it's time to resurface your court, think Sportmaster. With ITF classified systems and a nationwide network of certified installers, Sportmaster provides the perfect court for all players, from recreational to professional. We're also the official playing surface of the USPTA and a proud sponsor of the Tennis Channel's Community Surface Program. 
Sportmaster, the best surface for the world to play on. I told Blaine, meet me first thing in the morning outside of Centennial, and I showed up with a couple of people. Blaine, you see I brought an army with me. You're the man. I brought two friends. Jeff from Sportmaster. Hey, Blaine. Thank you so much. You Lee is so contractor. Blaine, thank you so much. Sportmaster agreed to do this project because we saw how hard Nashville was hit by this flood. This is something that we knew how to do to give back to the community here in Nashville. Even though the floods can tear apart our houses, they can't drown the spirit of the city of Nashville. Yeah! So Jeff and I are going to work on something special for the kids' courts. Promise me you're not going to look at them. Absolutely. Because I want to do something special for you over there. Absolutely. You're going to lead these guys to clean up those four courts, make them better than they ever were. You ready to do that? I'm on it. Can we do that, Nashville? Sure. Yeah. All right, then let's hit it! Yeah. So the plan is this. Blaine's gonna take the army of volunteers, go back to the four courts, clean them up, bring life back to them. I'm gonna take Jeff from Sportmaster and Lee the contractor. We're gonna take the two courts and make something special for the kids. Okay, everybody, let's keep this pulled tightly. How's it going? We gotta have something special for the kids. We're gonna take these two courts you see out here that are rough, and we're gonna turn them into eight smaller courts for the kids. Okay, but you can do this in 48 hours? We'll get it done. All right, I gotta go. Sportmaster, a sports surfacing company, has surfaced over 100,000 courts in more than 20 countries. To create these kid-friendly courts, they will use plans provided by the USTA. All right, Tori, what can I do? Whoa, 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 this is what? a blame what? free zone. That's why we have privacy oh, screens. Man, that I'm away. Out. I'm out. Tori made me promise that at no time could I go down and see those courts until the construction was finished. That's gonna be impossible. There is a lot of work to do here. It's imperative that we get a lot of manpower coordinated properly so that we take advantage of every hour that we can. We finished doing court one, and this is the weather in Nashville. In a second, it started raining, but nobody left, nobody cares. They People have been through a flood, so a little rain doesn't bother them. Hey, does the rain bother you guys? Yeah! They love it, it's actually cooling us off from the heat. Hey, Torrey, here's a bench from the kids' court. I don't know what you want to do with that. You gotta have something better than this for the kids. I got the perfect idea. So I thought it'd be really awesome to make benches for the kids out of rackets and balls. So I went to see my girl, Kristen, like, oh, hook me up. Kristen, thanks so much for your help. I'm trying to build benches for the kids out of rackets and balls. We have plenty. Help yourself to whatever you want. Thanks. All right, put some balls in here. Okay. Balls. Great. You're good to go. Thanks very much. You're welcome. I'll see you later. I gotta get back to the court. Bye. All right, here we go. Here they come! Yeah. <laughs> Love this. Tor <laughs> Tora, what are you doing? What are you I doing, man? I'm working. What are you and this is a blame free zone. Take it that man, way. You have lost it. You get that? Okay, you guys got the balls. Here's some rackets. Okay. Look, you can't have awesome kids' courts without awesome benches, so we're gonna make benches out of rackets and balls. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, let's take these two. 
Still to come, the volunteers and contractors are halfway done, but only 12 hours remain. Will promises be broken? Chris, you're good. John, you're good. Garrett, you're good. Lee, you're good. Who are you? Blaine. Come on. Trying to sneak into the Blaine free zone. Give me a break. Get out of here. It is so hard for me not to go see these secret courts. I am horrible at surprises, and I cannot wait to see these things. I think this looks pretty good. These courts just need some water and they're done. Two courts done in one day. You guys are awesome. Clap for yourselves. You guys have been so great today. I got a surprise for you. Come with me. To give back to our superstar volunteers, we got a country music superstar. I promised y'all something special for all your hard work. Here we go. Colin Ray. She glared at me over her... Having Colin Ray brought a smile to everybody. Everybody's working really hard, and to keep that energy up, we took a break and let Colin Ray pump everyone back up. I said, well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That's my story. Well, I ain't got a witness, and I can't prove it. You got it. My story. Colin's performance was a perfect ending and an amazing way to finish the day. Volunteers are back to finish the last two courts. Sportmaster powers through construction using guidelines from the USTA. Okay, day two, everything's going great. It's early in the morning, but everybody's already out here cleaning and energized. How are we doing, guys? Yeah! Two courts left to go. We could see the light at the end of the tunnel. We are a very friendly state, and we're the volunteer state, of course. Everybody gives, community. Ab absolutely. Let's get this out of here. Let's do it. It's all about volunteer work. You know, these are city courts, so an opportunity for people to come out and actually use these courts again. And everyone here loves tennis and cares about it. And... All right, cool. You're the man. I'm gonna go work on some other courts. All right, man. You finish this up? Get out of here. Right. I got it. All right, super exciting. We got the paint for the courts together. This is the tennis green for the border. Garrett's got the blue for the courts. I love paint. Guys! The kids in this community are gonna freak. Y'all have done an amazing job. We are done. All right, y'all get out of here. I'm gonna go get Toray. Let's go. Up next, did Sportmaster finish on time? In May of this year, devastating storms and floods ravaged the Centennial Tennis Center in Nashville, Tennessee. The USTA, Tennis Channel, and Sportmaster responded by partnering to repair and resurface the tennis courts. Today, the center is home to 13 regulation courts and eight new kids courts that are part of the USTA's Quick Start Play format. The makeover has rejuvenated and inspired an entire tennis community. Watch for community service with Sportmaster on the Tennis Channel.
Torrey, we're done. No way. You've got to check it out. Show me. Let's do it. I'm not going to believe this. Look at this. Look at this. Dude. Are you kidding me? You're back. <laughs> Forty-eight hours ago, the courts were horrific and just wrecked and messy, and now they're pristine again. Dude, bro, this is awesome. You're all the way to great there. job. You did a great job. What are you doing here, guys? The Blaine Free Zone is open. We're done. You're done. He finally got to see those courts, and it really paid off. <laughs> are you kidding me? What? What is the, where am I? It was incredible. Everything was so, it was just beautiful. And just the, the relief to know that here we go. Look at this, we're not just starting over. This is unbelievable, it's amazing, amazing. Unbelievable! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I cannot believe it. Thank you so much. Oh. It felt great to see Blaine's reaction when the courts were finally revealed, to see him run around like a madman. Tori, two, where? <laughs> How could I not kiss the court? How could I not? I mean, it was like seeing my beautiful wife. I mean, it, like picking up a baby, my child. I mean, it was, it was just so pretty. It was a, an incredible feeling to see the look on his face. It just made all this hard work worth it. Let me explain to you what you got. My man, Virgil Christian from the USTA, is going to break down what we have here. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Exactly. Brian, great to see you. How are you? What you have here is eight 36 foot courts for kids. Using the quick start play format where the rackets are the right size for the children, the balls don't bounce too high, right. the scoring's simple, and the courts, your courts now, eight brand new 36 foot courts. Perfect for children. You have it here. The future of tennis, Thanks, right man. Here. Thanks, thanks. Thanks, Virgil. Thanks. Thanks, man. I got one more thing I gotta show you, come on. Are you serious? So you can't have awesome courts without awesome benches. Look at this, we got sticks in the back, balls in the back, we got rackets for the armrest. Wrap this up here. You know what I find when you sit on it, there's a massage effect that happens. Unbelievable. And, and they join you. we're giving you a whole bunch of rackets for adults and a whole bunch of rackets for the kids. Are you serious? It's all for you. <laughs> They're gonna freak out. Look at how fun this is. Can you believe we got all this done in 48 hours? That's insane. You want to know how we did it? I'd love to know how you did it. Glad you asked. Come on over. We'll show you how the magic happened. All right, man. This project is really challenging to get finished in 48 hours. The first step is to reconfigure the courts and get all the posts and fences up. The second step is treating the cracks. 